Hey, welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. I thought I'd give you a quick tour of our uh, solar shack, as I've taken to calling it. And so without further ado, let's go. All right, so the first thing is, this is just a temporary setup. This is the Harbor Freight uh, system. I have another video of this up on my website. I got this when they were selling 20 watt panels. So this is 60 watts. Right now I think they're selling uh, 15 watt panels. And all we were really using this for, uh, here to four, was to charge like cell phones and stuff. Um, I didn't have an inverter good enough for charging a laptop. And so we always had to go into town to charge laptops. And if you remember from other videos, it used to sit right here on the ground, on the stand uh, that it comes with, this little metal stand. And so uh, I had to take stuff in every time it rained, unhook stuff, yada, yada, yada. And so we built this shack. Now I still have to sh uh, put edging on right here, that little metal edging, and then I'm gonna shingle it with some leftover shingles. Um, this was made out of just some old siding you can see that we had laying around. This is temporary. Now my wife watched a video, and it was an off-grid video, I wish I could give them credit. Husband and wife team, and they made the comment that temporary is permanent. It's like 10 tips for living off-grid or 10 things I wish I'd known before I'd gone off-grid, something like that. I'd like to give them credit. Um, yeah, so this will probably be here for two years, is my guess. I want to uh, eventually construct one out of concrete block on a concrete pad, and that's going to be my learner project for working with concrete and block and stuff. So, this is just made out of a little shack. We'll come around to the outside and talk about it uh, afterwards. Let's go inside right now. I, d I made this quick and, and not great, and right here there's a crack above the door, and wasps have been getting in that, and so I've been closing it up with these things um, right here. <clears throat> but it's just simple little turncocks, so we turn this one, turn this one, door opens, ta-da, and I can consolidate everything right in here. Um, everything related to solar we're going to keep in here. Now because this is temporary, I just built it on a pallet, right? I just used a pallet as the base. I leveled the pallet with concrete block and uh, I just laid all this concrete block, concrete block in the bottom to hold it down so the wind wouldn't blow it over. And I let it sit just like that for a while in some pretty fierce rainstorms that we had to check if it was waterproof, it is, and to check that it wouldn't blow over, it didn't. And then I moved stuff in which includes heavy batteries. So, the way it works is these solar panels right here uh, have a wires that come with them, and I built this little guy right here so they can go into it, into my shack, and I built it this way so water wouldn't also go into the shack. I just drilled a hole and put that in, and then I taped it closed. I was gonna foam it, but this is temporary, and uh, I want to be able to take those wires out. So I just taped it closed so wasps and mice and stuff wouldn't go up in there. And so uh, they go into the shack. <clears throat> they come in here. I kind of tried to make them neat and tidy. They come around to here, and then this is a battery uh, controller, charger controller. And it makes sure the batteries don't overcharge. This is not high-speed system. I'm building a high-speed system. Uh, which probably will be ready, like I said, in a year or two. <laughs> um, I'm piecemealing it together, but I'm learning with this cheaper system. And so this charger uh, gets the solar power from the panels, and it sends it to a battery. Now this is just a marine-grade battery right here. And when it gets enough charge, it stops the power from the solar panels from going into it, so we don't blow up batteries. Now I, And then the battery um, comes up. I've got wires from the battery that come up right now to this inverter and this inverter. This is a pure sine wave inverter. We use this one to uh, charge our laptops now, and I have just a simple extension cord, and it runs all the way into the house. It's just, I've drilled a little hole in the house, and it comes up underneath, and then we go from there. Um, I'm eventually gonna do Romec or, you know, regular electrical stuff and hook it up right, but right now we're just playing with it. And then this is another one, another little inverter that came with the system. This is a 1,000 watt inverter. This is a 200 watt inverter. Um, and right now, what I'm charging, the only thing I'm charging on this right now is uh, this little guy right here. It's an anchor cell phone charger. It holds four charges and we're just charging it back up so we can charge our cell phones. We used to charge that up and our cell phones 
with these little guys, which I talked about earlier, these little fold-out solar panels. Um, and now I just have a nice place to store them because our house is small, and we don't have a lot of place to store things. And then there's our uh, radio charging station so we can charge our radios. Okay, so the batteries. These two batteries work. However, uh, they're not equalized. We used this one for a while, and then we started using this one, and so I can't... My understanding is I can't hook them together to have a bigger battery bank to draw of. So we charge this one and use it, and we charge this one and use it, and quite frankly, I think this one's dead. Uh, probably next week I'm going to hook all of this stuff up to this battery, see if I can get a charge on it. Um, if not, I'm going to take it back. We're just storing a battery box in here. Um, so that's that. Now, your system has to be grounded. And so there's a ground wire coming off the back of this guy. And it comes through the shed right there, and it goes on to just a grounding rod. Um, they tell you when you get the inverter that I got uh, what kind of wire you need to buy, and we just had a local place manufacture it for us. And so that's our little solar shack. I can leave it out here in the rain. Um, I charged the laptop all the way up this morning, the battery for it. Um, we have power at night if we want it. I just bought our first lamp for the house. I haven't even hooked it up yet. Um, so like I said, this is just the beginning. And uh, hopefully it gives you all some ideas of things you can do also. All right. Hey, go forth. Do likewise or similar. All right. I'll see you out there.